we're on Interstate 10 in Louisiana. We're just about ready to cross over into Mississippi. We're heading east. We're going to spend the night at the Mississippi Welcome Center. They have numerous RV um, parking spots where you can overnight park for free. It's almost like a campsite. You pull in. I understand they have water. So we will chime back in when we get off of exit 2 and pull into the Mississippi Welcome Center. Spend the night. Okay, exit number 2, Mississippi Welcome Center. Take the exit on the right, then keep right at the fork. spot that way you can wind all your slides out Okay, well we're on our way back heading east. We stopped at the Mississippi Welcome Center. We stopped in here last year coming back from our snowbird trip and we found these nice RV spots. Let me show you around. Yeah, so this is our camping spot for the night. We're over for uh, free overnight parking here at the Mississippi Welcome Center. Looks like we got water here. I already have a, a full tank. There's just a trickle coming out of there. So I don't know what the deal is there. I'll check some others and see if there's uh, water pressure in any of the others. But uh, yeah, a nice sweet camping spot. I even have a uh, well, it's not a camping spot. It's a uh, free overnight parking, which uh, we're really appreciative of. I found this spot last year coming through on our way back from out west. And uh, so this year I worked it into the itinerary. Uh, very convenient right off the exit 2 as you enter. Mississippi off of Interstate 10. Got a, a light pole. It looks like uh, all the campsites have light poles. 
you have trash receptacles you have picnic tables some of them are covered let me show you around okay so I backed up to the beginning of the RV camping area overnight parking area here at the Mississippi Welcome Center and Melody had checked online in one of the face Facebook groups she was in and uh, people said oh you better get there early because trucks park in there it is marked no truck parking uh, there's plenty of truck parking for tractor trailers right over in the rest stop and they have a nice they have restrooms over there and and I'll take you over there a little bit later but there's a huge parking area you could even park your RV over there but you you I don't think you'd be able to widen your slides out but trucks park over there as well as automobiles uh, these are what the sites look like I count about 12 I'm gonna walk from end to end but just real quick it looked like there were 12 of these um, pull in pull out RV overnight camping uh, spots and like uh, this first one here it's got a number 25 on the table you know you have a walkway to a, a table you have a trash receptacle um, all the water spigots that I've seen um, they don't work I don't know because it's I'm here in February and uh, it could be because of the cold weather but uh, let me uh, take you down I'm going to show you a few more of these spots and I'll show you around the rest of the uh, overnight parking area here's the uh, overnight parking RV parking area that's right across from uh, where my fifth wheel is and you can see you can get any size rig in here I tried that water spigot over there it doesn't work either some don't have threads the one by my rig had threads and only a trickle of water would come out they all have these uh, light posts guess I'll find out I'll show you uh, a little bit later in the evening whether these light posts work but uh, I kind of like to have a, a night light if you will so uh, yeah any size rig can fit in there I got my truck and fifth wheel in there with plenty of room on both ends left over let's walk a little further down and check the rest of this overnight parking area out down toward the end uh, site number 28 looks to be about the best one I'm already set up so I'm staying where I'm at but there's no mud right outside your where your uh, steps would be for your RV and uh, you have a picnic table and a garbage receptacle let's go see if the water works on this one no you just have a, a little dribble coming out of there so not sure what the deal is but they have uh, water receptacles but I wouldn't depend on the water being on and uh, they have several of these real nice covered pavilions with picnic tables they all have walkways there's my rig up there plenty of uh, room to run Fido outside of your camper and then uh, last year when we came through we picnicked over here in this picnic area and we just parked on the other side there where the tractor trailers are but uh, plenty of room pretty nice setup for free overnight parking Okay, let me take you over and show you uh, the uh, the facilities across the street. They do have an information center 
and it is open here at the Mississippi Welcome Center. The restrooms are open 24 hours and they have a vending area. This is the vending area like uh, in addition to several coke machines they have uh, a red bull machine and uh, a lay a lays vending uh, machine very well done um, facility here at the Mississippi Welcome Center I think these are magnolia trees that's what I think they are I don't think they're live oak I think they're magnolia There is a area over here with a bridge. Let's go over and check that area out. Okay, well, off to my right, this is all bus and tractor trailer truck parking. They have a lot of spots. I guess bus parking is permitted along, along the curb on the right side here. And there's a welcome center. And then on the other side of the Welcome Center is automobile parking. Let's see some automobiles parked over there. And that's another large parking area. But they also have this parking area right here. And they have a little footbridge. It'll take it from that auxiliary parking area. over to the Welcome Center. Right now nobody's using this in here, but this is kind of this is kind of nice right here. And there's a look back at the footbridge that takes you over to the Welcome Center from the auxiliary parking lot. And then right off to the right there is where all the car parking is. Irrespective of which way you're heading on Interstate 10, be that eastbound or westbound, all you need to do is take exit 2 and you can access the Mississippi Welcome Center and the free RV parking here. And when you come in, you're just going to bear to your left and follow the sign for RVs. That's going to take you right behind the trucks, right in the center of your screen. The Welcome Center is off to your left there. And you're going to make a big circle as if you're leaving, and that's where all the RV parking is. That's where I had previously shown you. So that's my RV down there. You can see my Cougar in the center of your screen. And so after you're done overnight parking, you're just gonna proceed down the road and then follow the signs to I-10 and get back on the interstate. Well, we drove all the way across the state of Louisiana today. We left from the Conroe, Texas area this morning and so I'm pretty hungry. And I kind of figure Milo will probably be waiting at the door for me and hopefully Melody has something cooking. Let's go see what's going on in here. Milo! I knew you would be here. Is mommy making dinner? Mommy's waiting for me? Well, as you can see, the street lights do come on. And uh, we've got a few other RVs that have pulled in here tonight. Got one there. One behind it. I have my nightlight. 
we're all set. I'll check in with you tomorrow morning and give you some final thoughts on free camping in the Mississippi Welcome Center. Let you know how things went tonight. Well, it's morning. Had a good night's sleep last night. Uh, they do have security here. I want to walk you down here and show you something. Yeah, security runs around in the golf cart, which is a good thing. Uh, I had a tractor trailer pull up right next to me right here last night. He was about four inches from the end of my uh, Cougar. But he was still sticking out in the uh, street and security told him to move. But uh, yeah, these are clearly marked. Uh, no truck parking because they're just going to tear up these campsites. See that sign right here? No truck parking. And so, uh, if you intend on staying here in your RV overnight, I'd recommend getting here early. We got here about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I had my pickup place. But uh, around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the evening, the place filled up. And as you can see, these truckers, now see this trucker here right behind this um, travel trailer, he pulled in when there's no space there. And they're tearing the grass up and making ruts. I'll show you right back here. I also want to show you the dump station. I'll take you up and show you it. But yeah, this isn't right. Um, it's clearly posted. They just need someone to enforce it. Um, if they weren't blocking the road, security wasn't running them out of here. But this trucker's from Ohio. And uh, you can see he did that. He tore this up pretty good. This is the dump station. These uh, these barrels were crossed here last night, so this RVer probably didn't have anywhere to park. Neither security moved the barrels. I don't know who moved the barrels, but the, last night there were barrels across the dump station here. Uh, don't know whether it's an order or not because the barrels were up here uh, so I just assumed the dump station was closed uh, but this morning the barrels have been moved to the side and there's an RV parked in the dump station so there you go still a pretty good place to RV overnight park it's free overnight parking in the Mississippi Welcome Center just off the Interstate 10. Free overnight RV parking at the Mississippi Welcome Center. I'll have the upload and download speeds for Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile in the written video description on YouTube. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road.